Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we are down here in South Carolina tonight on some game land. Let me turn the dog loose. I got my buddy Ken Bishop with me. I brought Hyde. What'd you got? I brought a five month old female pup. That's what I got. I brought Cole Powell. Well, Cole Powell, that's your nephew. That's my nephew, yep. What's he out of? He's out of a whole bunch of stuff. I'd have to look it up and see. Yeah, look it up. He's got his papers at home, huh? <laughs> We're gonna take a dog, throw them in the woods, and hope we get you some tree dog action. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Okay, we got Hyde in there. He's 405 yards. Starting to zigzag around a little bit, so he must be smelling something. Hopefully it won't be long. We'll hear some mouth out of him. If you guys can hear that, Hyde's in there. 583, locating up. Wind, kind of windy out here at night. Kind of hard to hear. Normally where we hunt right here at 580 is very easy to hear, but the wind is real bad right now. Try to get you some better audio here in a minute. Alright guys, he's 590, treed up. We're getting ready to cut off the left side of the road here and go in there and see what he's got. Got here this tree guys. There's a couple of small weep holes where water's running out of this tree, so we know it's got hollow spots in it. Big old tall poplar tree. Kim's up a hill right now. Trying to get a different angle on it. I'm gonna loop around and see if I can't get a good angle on it. Shine top. Alright guys, we're trying this tree pretty heavy. Can't find anything on the outside. But right there is a hole. And all the way up this tree, there's a bunch of other small holes. Not to mention what we can't see on up in there. Looking in that hole right there, there's a massive cavity inside this tree. So, there's a coons on the inside. I'd give a really good locate earlier. Two good long locates. That's really very accurate when he does that. Kim's back here, working the squaller, trying to find the coon. Might be able to talk him out of the den, you never know. Hide, get back on that tree. Hide one good time. Get on that tree. Hope to him. Good boy. Oh, well. Got a scratch on that one. All right, guys, we're going to pull Hide off here, catch him deeper in the woods. We're going to hide on from this tree. Hide, come on. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, Hyde. Let's go. Hold on. Hyde. Good boy. All right. Hyde. Hunt. Go hunt. See if we can find us another one while we're in here. Alright guys, I got in there about 750 yards from the last tree. Got loaded up on a tree and we are walking to him. We're about 500 yards from him right now.
Well, he picked a big enough tree. We're going to get back and shine it and see what's up. All right, guys. We uh, we finally seen some eyes here on this tree. Old Kim's going to squall it and see if I can get you a picture. Go ahead. There's the eyes, guys. Old Kim making him walk around. All right, we're going to find a spot where we can see the body and let the coal shoot out. There you go, there's a guy center the screen. He's not looking, but I'll highlight the body there for you. We're going to try to leave him on the ground. Yeah, he's up there. Well, guys, we've gone through about four clips in the pistol. Every time this coon gets somewhere where you see him, the wind starts blowing like crazy. So you're trying to hit a moving target through the leaves and the limbs. We've hit him, we got blood dripping coming down the tree, so we know we've hit him. It's just getting good body shots, about impossible. But we're trying. Two hours later. All right, guys, so we just got this coon knocked out and uh, just kind of show you guys this coon carrier that we make and how we use it. It's just basically got two slip knots on it. Put one around one back foot. You can either do another back foot or if it's a real long coon, you can crisscross and do one of the front feet. Just tighten them down and really you walk with it right there. Being that we're what, probably a mile back, Kim? Yep. We got a long walk, so that's going to come in real handy. So, if you guys are interested in something on the website, nightlifekennel.com, we're we'll going to head toward the truck. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, Kim's walking out with the coon. He's doing a little bit of work with his pup. Every now and then, she wants to grab a coon from him, so. Looks like it's working pretty good. <laughs> she knew she was going to get popped. That's all it takes, guys. Just repetition. I catch on, don't I, Kim? All right, guys. Well, that was our hunt tonight. We made basically one drop. Hide went in there about 600 yards. Treed up on a den tree. And then, uh, as you see in the footage, we cast him on from there. He went about 800 yards. You can hear a train in the background here. Anyway, ended up treeing a little over a mile deep in there in a big old white oak. Had tons of acorns in it. it. Took us a little while to find the coon. When we did, we could just get an eye every now and then. It took us a while to get it knocked out. We put a lot of bullets up there, hit it several times. Finally, we got it on the ground. We was at the tree probably an hour, wasn't we? Yeah, and that wind of blowing wouldn't have been Yeah, you guys can see in the footage there, every time we get where we can see an eye, the wind would move him four or five foot each direction. So, But we finally got him on the ground, and uh, it was a good hunt. Got to uh, let Pepper here see a coon, let her play with it a little bit. So. She Kim done a couple drags with her and got to mess with her. Then on the way out, he actually worked on her uh, leaving the coon alone while he's carrying it. So, smart little dog. She's going to catch on and do pretty good. So, 
Uh, I really enjoyed it. I finally too. got to see one. Yeah. After a few days or a few nights of dry spells. So. Yeah. yeah. We done good. Cole, did you have a good time? Oh, absolutely. Every time. Always do. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Nightlife Kennel, Instagram, at Nightlife Kennel. And if you're interested in any coon carriers or big dog genesis or any other merchandise we have, nightlifekennel.com, we will hook you up. We appreciate it, guys. In the meantime, tree one for us.